All right, so uh, what we're going to be doing here is talking about how to use uh, Stata's syntax for interaction terms and squared terms. Uh, recently or recently-ish, I think I believe since Stata 13, maybe 11, uh, you didn't have to, you no longer have to create your own variables uh, or interaction terms before including them in your regression. Uh, so not too long ago, uh, you would have to do it yourself. So let's say that you wanted to run a regression of uh, class rank, a lower number is better, uh, on uh, female and white and an interaction term between the two. And you wouldn't be able to just do anything. You'd have to first uh, create the interaction term yourself. You could do something like generate uh, white female equal to r white times female, and then you could run the regression like that. Right. You don't need to do that anymore. It's a waste of time. Uh, you can instead just use Stata's inline uh, interaction term. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that, and we're going to create an interaction term uh, using Stata, uh, using just the regression command itself. So there's going to be two steps to this. So the first is going to be having to let Stata know what kind of variable you're working with. There's the variables that really apply here. One is uh, categorical. Uh, which is, you know, you have a variable that's equal to 0 or 1, or maybe 0, 1, or 2, or 3, uh, or maybe you have a bunch of state uh, effects in there and you want to get a different effect for each state. Whatever it is, it's some sort of categorical variable. It's not a continuous variable. For that, we're going to do i dot. And so female and white are both binary, so I'm going to do i dot for both of them. Then I'm going to do the interaction between them. And so I'm going to use two hashtags there. Uh, and that's just going to tell Stata to do three things. So one, it's going to tell it to include female on its own. It's going to tell it to include white on its own. And it's going to tell it to include the interaction term between the two. Uh, so when I do this, I get the exact same thing that I got up here, uh, except that I you know, didn't have to create a new variable, uh, didn't have to do any of that. It just did it automatically. Uh, so that's simple enough. Uh, let's also do it with a continuous variable. So let's add to this uh, family income, uh, which is a continuous variable, measures how much income uh, the family had. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, let's say, instead of interacting between female and white, we, uh -oh, we want to interact between uh, white and family income. So once again, we are going to have to indicate that white is a binary variable. Uh, for family income, we're going to use C dot to show that it is a continuous variable. And we're going to do the double hashtag there. Again, we get white by itself, family income by itself, and white uh, hash, uh, hashtag family income. And uh, so a couple things. So one, if you want to then pull out this uh, these coefficients, it's fairly easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do display. Let's say I want to pull out this interaction term, underscore b. I'm going to do one dot r white, because I have to let it know that I'm looking for the coefficient version uh, where white is equal to 1. Uh, and then hashtag c dot fam inc. I'm going to display that coefficient just like I want it. So let's think about. Uh, uh, then we can use this exact same approach to uh, get square terms. But before we get to that, um, you might be wondering why I'm using double hashtags uh, as opposed to a single hashtag. Well, a single hashtag also works, but it does something a little bit different. So when you do a single hashtag, instead, uh, notice that it's not going to include white by itself and FAMIC by itself and white interact with FAMIC. It's just going to be the interaction term. Uh, and so what I do when, when I do this, what's going to happen is it's going to give me one coefficient on FAMINC for people with value of white equals zero, and one coefficient uh, with a, with a val uh, for people with uh, white coefficient value equal to one. Right, so I get two coefficients. So I don't get white on its own. I don't get FAMINC on its own. Uh, so that's something a little bit different. I've, I rarely have a use for the single hashtag. Mostly it's always the hub, double hashtag. Uh, and also that double hashtag can be used to give us squared terms. So you no longer have to create squared variables either. So let's say instead of uh, r white times uh, Fam Inc, we want to get Fam Inc and Fam Inc squared. So all I got to do is just interact Fam Inc with itself. And there I get Fam Inc by itself, and I get Fam Inc interacted with Fam Inc, which of course is the squared term. Uh, that said, I'm going to very briefly give a little bit of a refresh. And that's basically it. That's really all there is to it. Uh, just interact what you want. You can interact more than one thing at once. So let's say I want uh, white interacted with Fam Inc and Fam Inc squared. Right, so we get FAMIC by itself, white by itself, white times FAMIC, FAMIC times FAMIC, and white times FAMIC times FAMIC. Right? You can just chain it together as much as you want. So with all this in mind, let's uh, do a quick refresher on what interaction terms actually are and how we can interpret them. Uh, so let's go back to this model right here. It's not that one. You know, the double hashtag. There we go. Uh, so the easiest way to think about, to think about uh, interaction terms is like this. 
Uh, the interaction term here, especially when is in, this is especially easy when you have a binary variable interacted with another binary variable or a continuous variable, that the coefficient tells you the difference in the effect. Uh, so here, right, fam inc by itself is the effect of family income for people with R, a value of Ry equal to zero. Okay, then the additional effect for white people is this coefficient right here. Uh, and so you can think of the coefficient on the interaction term as being a difference in the effect. So you change the value of one of the variables, and that tells you the change in the effect of the other variable. So we've changed the value of white from zero to one. And so the effect of family income uh, changed by this amount right here. It, it went from point, negative 0 0.0008 to negative 0 0.0008 plus negative 0 0.0009. Uh, a slightly more robust way to think about it is to actually write out your regression model. So I'm going to write out class rank equals alpha plus uh, beta 1 times female plus beta 2 times white plus beta 3 times family income plus beta 4 times our interaction term white times fam inc. Okay. Uh, if I want to get the effect of family income, there is no one effect for family income. I've included an interaction term, which tells me that the effect of family income is going to differ by whether you're white or not. Okay, so uh, we can plug in different values of white to get different values of family income. So what if I want to know the value, the effect of family income for people who are not white? So I'm going to set white equal to zero, and I'm just going to plug in a value of zero. Zero. And then that, uh, some things drop out because all those zeros, we get no beta. That beta two goes away. Uh, this term goes away right here. So clearly, in this model, the effect of family income is beta three. What about for white people? If I set white equal to one, well, then I take the same idea up here, copy it down. Okay, but now I'm going to set white equal to one. That just becomes another part of the of the, inter, of the uh, constant. And then this becomes one, and then we can collapse it down. Alpha plus beta two. And then the coefficient on family income is beta three plus beta four. So the effect of family income for white people is beta 3 plus beta 4. So the difference in the effect between white people and non-white people is beta 4, right? The effect used to be beta 3. Now it's beta 3 plus beta 4. So the uh, white people have an effect that is larger of family income by beta 4. Uh, and this whole plugging in method will really help you figure out uh, what your interaction terms mean uh, in any given context. All right. Thank you.